Hey there guys, how's it going? This is Rexover here, and welcome back to another game tutorial, and today we're going to be going over how to implement a gliding feature within your Game Maker games, as seen here. We have this little player here, and we kind of jump around, move a little bit to the left, and move a little bit to the right, and vice versa. However, when we press the up button, or the jump button twice, you'll notice that we kind of descend very slowly, almost like a feather, in a gliding fashion. We can either do this to the left side, and just kind of glide to the left, or the right side, doesn't really matter, but nonetheless, the gliding Gliding feature itself is what we're going to be working on today. So, with that said, um, this is a requested tutorial as well, so just wanted to get that out there. If you guys have any requested tutorials that you guys want, uh, you can go ahead and add those in the comments, or just send me a personal message, or what have you. So, anyway, with that said, let's go ahead and hop over to Game Maker and get this thing started. Alright, so we're in the Game Maker screen here with everything already laid out and ready to go for us. So let's go ahead and start off by going to the sprites. Now, the sprites really don't matter so much as the objects that they belong to, but I just want to go over them just really quickly so you guys are aware of what all I have going on here. So basically, the first thing I have is this SBR underscore player little sprite here. It's a 32 by 32 block, simply colored white with a black outline and a little happy face going on there. And uh, for the SBR underscore ground, uh, just a little outline um, with a gray center. So Nothing too fancy going on there. Now, what you want to make sure, as I said earlier, is the objects that these sprites are belonging to, um, these are what really matter. The sprites themselves, you can just uh, make them whatever dimensions or whatever you want to make them. Uh, it doesn't really matter. The only thing that matters is the object itself. So what you want to go and do is after you go ahead and make an object of both these sprites, um, or I guess maybe one of these sprites, maybe you can have the same sprite for both objects if you prefer, but then let's go inside our obj underscore player object. And what you want to do in here is go add event, create, and go to the control tab and click and drag over and execute code action and all of this code will be in the description box so you can just copy and paste it so don't worry about that now what we're going to go and do here is set a variable glide equals false and this is going to be our glide variable kind of what controls our gliding feature now what we're going to go and do next is add event step and regular step Alright, and go to the control tab if you're not there already, um, or I guess if you're not there still, and uh, click and drag over another execute code action, and I'll go over this gravity in just a moment here. But go ahead and just copy and paste the code from the description box inside here, and what this is basically saying is if keyboard underscore check VK up, so if we're pressing the up key on our keyboard, then glide equals true, remember that glide variable that we talked about earlier? Um, and if glide equals to true, or excuse me, if glide is equal to true, and our V speed, which is basically our vertical speed, how high we are at the time, is um, basically more than one. So basically if we're above the, uh, above whatever, if we've jumped, uh, then our V speed is going to uh, equal 1.5. So when we're in the air, we're going to start to descend at a slower uh, rate than we normally would, affecting the gravity. Now, if keyboard underscore check release VK up, so if we've released our up key, if we're not really jumping anymore, um, well, I guess kind of in midair, I suppose, uh, then our glide variable is going to equal false, and gravity that is going to be set here is going to take effect again, and we're just going to fall, plop, right all the way down at our normal speed. And uh, really quickly, I'm just going to go over this gravity, just in case you don't have your own gravity system. Um, basically, all I did here was I clicked and drag over a, a checked empty um, action and x equals 0 y equals 1 uh, objects only solid make sure to check the relative box there and go back to your move tab click and drag over a set gravity action direction is 270 gravity is 0 0.5 and head back once again to your control tab click and drag over an else action go back to your move tab click and drag over a set gravity action this time we're just going to be direction 270 same as last time but gravity is going to equal 0 Alright, so the collision with the ground doesn't matter so much as all the other stuff. It's just, again, this was an old example, so it just was kind of in here. Um, <clears throat> but uh, basically all this is is a just move to contact and direction. Uh, direction equals direction, maximum equals solid, and solid objects, all that kind of stuff. Vertical speed, uh, zero. Left is just kind of, you know, this negative 4 for x for the, again, check empty. Y equals 0, only solid. Relative can be checked. Jump to position, which is right over here on the move tab. <gasps> x equals negative 4. Y equals 0. Uh, relative is checked. And right, uh, same thing, but just without the negatives. And uh, there you go. So that is your moving system. If you don't have one already, why am I going over all this different stuff? Uh, I'll go over this in just a second. But basically, a lot of people um, I know in tutorials, they see all this extra stuff, kind of this movement. Maybe they don't have their own movement. Maybe they do, but it's not working. They're just like, oh, you know, maybe it was something in there. So I always like to kind of show this uh, if I feel it is necessary. But I'm going to try to be a little quick about it, as you guys can already see. But nonetheless, uh, key press 
press up, you want to go ahead and go add event and key press up. There we go. And this is what's going to be our jumping feature. Now, normally I really wouldn't do jumping this way because this isn't really the most efficient way. I guess I'd usually use code or something. Um, but this was just the example. So I guess you can go ahead and just go. Um, obviously applies to self and object. Choose your OBJ ground object. And uh, Y equals 1. Relative is checked. And V speed. This is very important here. Uh, the V speed is... <clears throat> Once you press up, how high you're going to be jumping. And I just went ahead and put negative 10, but you want to basically put anything other than 1. Because remember in our earlier step event, um, this is our only glide feature. It's only going to work if we are above 1 in terms of e-speed. Alright, so finally, um, the last thing I want to go and do is uh, on our OBJ ground object, I uh, want to go ahead and just check it solid and give it the ground sprite, and that is it. Let me go and bring this up really quick. There we go, and we can go and just run our game. Do, 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 do. And just kind of show you guys again. There we go. There's our glide feature. We press up, and we don't do anything. We just kind of fall back down because our gravity is taking effect. And of course, if we press up again, and while we're in the air, we can just kind of glide and descend very nicely like a feather. So, there we go, guys. That is my gliding tutorial. Sorry about all the extra stuff if you guys are like, Oh, why are you doing all that? It's taking so much time. Oh, you could have just done not that stuff, and it would have been less time. I know, but, you know, that's just kind of the way it goes. So, <laughs> nonetheless, guys, that is it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Uh, this has been Rex Furry. Feel free uh, to comment and rate in this tutorial. Maybe subscribe for upcoming videos. Uh, um... <clears throat> Excuse me. Ah, oh, jeez. On uh, upcoming uh, updates and stuff. That was a really kind of weird sentence placement. But uh, nonetheless, guys, this has been Rex Furry. And as always, I'll see you guys next time.